All right, state semifinal tennis today from Roanoke College, a familiar face in Reagan Delp of Cave Spring. The 3A West singles runner-up unable to overcome Natasha Novak, the 3A East champ out of York High. Delp falls 6-2-6-1 in 3A state semifinal singles today. In 4A girls, Eli Gallier of LCA, the 4A West champ, falls to McKinley Smith of Eastern View, 7-5-6-4. And at Radford today, Perry McClure's Maggie Peterson was ousted 6-2-6-1 by Maddie Brown of Matthews in today's 1A semifinal. That leaves the boys' draw, where only one local competitor made the Final Four in any classification. Our own Eric Johnson checks in this afternoon from the 4A Boys Singles Championships. Not every high school athlete gets the opportunity to make the state tournament, but for one EC Glass senior, it's become familiar territory. Senior Trent Daly is a three-star recruit for the Hilltoppers who made his fourth appearance in the state tournament. This was his second time going after the singles championship. I was in this position my sophomore year. I was in the finals here and um, I lost and it was tough to swallow that, but I was able to get back up, train even harder and get, back, get myself back into this position. Today, the ball was in his court. He won his semifinal match 6-1, 6-1 and moved on to the final this afternoon. It took three sets and nearly three hours, but he rallied back and was crowned the 4A singles champion, the first for EC Glass since 2000. It feels amazing. I can't even express how much it means to me. It's just a blessing to have this opportunity first off. The 10th ranked player in the state gives credit where it's due. His older brother Nicholas was also a standout player in the Hilltoppers tennis program and has played a pivotal part in his development. If it weren't for him, I would never be the player I am today. Um, he was my number one practice partner until he went off to college. Um, everything I'm doing right now, he's done before. So just being able to learn from his mistakes and just from his trials, is just, it's been a blessing and an advantage for me growing up, for sure. Daly doesn't have any plans of hanging up his racket anytime soon. He's verbally committed to play for Virginia Tech next spring. In Salem, Eric Johnson, WSLS 10 Sports.